just take to give it a couple of seconds. Sorry, folks. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll just wait on people coming. Do, 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 do. I should have got my phone so I could have put a comment on that. Oh, could you pass me my phone over there? Hiya, folks. Sorry, we cut off. I don't know what happened. We just cut off. But we're back, and Erin's going to carry on in just a moment. Um, so we'll just give it we'll give it a minute just for everybody to jump back in so that Erin could carry on her reading that she was doing. Um, hopefully, everybody will jump back in. I'm just going to go and put a post on the last one. Can you believe that? Can you imagine it cutting off that blooming quick? What's all that about? Um, comment on there. Um, New live. Damn. Right. Hello, 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 everybody. Thanks for coming back in. I don't know what happened. The live went off. Um, we're just going to give it 30 seconds, and Erin's going to carry on the reading she was doing, and we're just going to continue. Please reshare this new live that has now started, considering the last one decided to just switch itself off, which was a bit of a bum. Bum stick is all I could say. Um, but I'm glad you are all coming back in. Our numbers are going back up. Um, fab. Right, let's get these comments moving again. There we go. Erin, who were you reading for again? Angela. There it was. There was it. Angela McGowan. I got cut off, heard about a teddy. You talk. Okay, so the teddy, it was kind of like you need a little bit of comfort around you just now. It's like you're needing a big cuddle from somebody. Um, the, the bear as well, it kind of looks a bit like a koala bear, so I don't know if you have any sort of connection to Australia. Um, I feel as well, I, I don't know if they're your children or not, but I can see um, two children that would be in the spirit world as well. Um, and I feel they would have been quite close to you. Um, I also feel that um, I can see like angel wings and I feel like there's somebody watching over you, but you know they're watching over you and it's like, you know when they're about and if you're needing help and guidance and that, um, you know they're there helping you and guiding you on the way. Um, Okay, in, in this cup I can see it looks like a, a, a gentleman with a, a hat on um, it's like, I don't know, I would call it a tammy with a pom-pom on the end of it. I feel that um, like he's also got glasses on as well and I feel like this would have been quite a happy cheery gentleman. I get the impression it would be sort of like a granda. Um, and I feel you would have had quite a close bond with this man. She always pulls funny faces. The teddy again, I can see the teddy again. Would you or somebody about you have done something for children? Was it children in need? Yeah, that was just done. Or it's something that's quite important to you. But now the teddy looks like Pudsey. There we go, Pudsey. Well done. Is that you? But if you've got more, you could give more. Folks, remember, could, keep hitting your share button. I could see a Scot, is it a Scotty dog? The little white terriers with the long hair. Mm -hmm. um, right in the bottom of the cup. Cool. So I feel the dog would either, have, you would have known the dog if the dog's sort of in the spirit, or 
the dogs coming in, I feel that would go with a sort of with a teddy for like comfort and you know, dogs, they bring a sort of companionship, don't they? So I don't know if you're maybe feeling a bit lonely just now as well and you're needing somebody to come in and just sort of be there for you and I mean they love you unconditionally and stuff as well. They don't decide one day they don't like you. Um, <laughs> but divorce is on the cards, folks. And that's that's what I would say for the joke. Cool. Well done. Oh, she's still looking. There might be more for it. Might be more. I've just noticed. Look how yellow my eyes are in this. I should have put some makeup on. <laughs> I feel as well, I could see, this will probably be the last bit because I'm right back at the start again. Um, it looks like a ladder's um, going right up the side of the cup. Um, and I can see it looks like a person at the bottom climbing up. So I feel that there's maybe something you're doing, something you're trying to do or something you're trying to get. Um, but I do feel that it might not feel like it just now, but you're going in the right direction and eventually you'll keep climbing up and be where you, you're hoping to be. Good, well done. Well, well done to Erin. Well done, well done. You may now go and sit and look at comments and hopefully when she comes back she'll be drunk to somebody else, folks. So keep your comments coming. Um, as I say, sorry that live... The last live cut off. Don't know what happened. Facebook being its typical self. Um, but we got live again as soon as we can. So we're going to be going next. And we're going to be bringing somebody else into the hot seat. Remember, if you get a reading, folks, leave a wee visitor's post. Please do remember that they are just trainees. They're sitting in a wee development circle. They never knew they were going to do this. They've never done anything like it in their life. I could tell you one of them is very, very nervous. She's been to the toilet twice. <laughs> I didn't know she went for pee. It could have been a shite. I do not know. All right. Um, but please do hit your share button, share in groups, share everywhere. Let's get our Ashley next. We'll leave the very, very nervous one to the very, very end. Ashley's just had a baby, folks. Let's sing congratulations. Oh my God. Congratulations. <laughs> Anyway, there's the cup. Thank Was you. there anybody's name you were drawn to or anybody's question or if you've got any reading you want to give before you give a cup reading? There was a girl, Lindsay Brown, her name was. Lindsay so, Brown? Yeah. And is that to connect in a question or just to do... I'm going to do a bit of... A bit of everything. And see what I get. She's going, Lindsay Brown, this one is for you, Lindsay Brown. So, Ashley's doing a tea leaf here again. She's dipping in, but she's going to do a bit of everything. So if she gets any spirit contacts, she will bring them through. If she gets any other things, she's going to bring them through too. There's loads of people saying congratulations to you, Ashley. <laughs> um, somebody even says you're looking well for not being able to sleep. Well, thanks. <laughs> okay, so what I'm seeing is a really dark tunnel for this girl. Um, and I feel this is where she's struggling a bit at the moment. Um, but I can see like an opening at the end of this, so I do feel things are going to, you know, get better for you. Um, but I'm also feeling like you've got a lot on your shoulders and you're taking a lot for everybody else as well. Um, and this is something that you're you're going to need, really need to sort of stop and think and have a look at yourself and sort of say, I need to take time out um, because you're basically putting everybody else um, before before you. Um, I'm also seeing the way that this is at the bottom is like you, you really need to open your wings. It's like wings I'm seeing at the bottom here. Um, and I feel this is something you need, you, you've maybe been looking at spiritually recently. Um, and it's something that you're sort of you've been looking into a lot more. And I feel that this is something from this is, you need to take as a positive. So going forward, start believing in yourself. And if you think you've got something spiritual in you, you need to, you need to take that forward and go with it. I do see a love heart at the bottom here as well. Um, so I don't know if 
relationship wise that there's something on the horizon for you or something's going to improve in a relationship for you and um, but i do see this as a big a big love heart so definitely something more positive coming your way that's all i'm going to be seeing in my teacup here okay are you picking anything up for the person as well I just at the moment I'm feeling like this weight on my shoulders like I've, I've been saying before um, and I feel that is going to lift shortly for you but as I say you have to take that time out for yourself because it's only yourself that can improve that um, and you know if you do need to speak to people speak to people your family is around you but at the moment I feel like you are shutting them out so take that bit of advice and you know go with it and things will get better for you. Well done. Okay. Well done, Ashley. Yeah. Round of applause and a share for Ashley, folks. Right, let me just rinse me cup. Let me rinse me cup. Right. Okay, so are we all enjoying this? This is good, funny. They're all sitting down and they're sitting quite relaxed now. All right. Little do they know, they'll be back up again. All right. So keep your comments coming, folks. Keep your shares coming. Keep your love hearts coming. Keep, yeah thumbs come in your smiley face says the more of you that's here the longer i'll make them keep coming up and doing a reading for you all all right so the next person that's coming up to do a wee reading for you is our jan and jan is very very nervous all right so we're going to have to be super nice to our jan when she comes up here i'm telling her now so she starts walking because she's got a walking stick all right she, she's a bit She's, a, she's like, just back and tell Abdi I'm disabled. <laughs> yes, Jan, you're disabled. Come on over. So Jan's going to come up. Quite. She's not fully disabled. She's got a bad leg. She's just old. She's just decrepit and old. <laughs> so Jan has a nickname um, no, in class. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. And Jan's, Jan's nickname is don't. Johnny Fanny. <laughs> so come on, Johnny no, Fanny. No. And you know what? Even that's my children, shame. even no, our that's, kids. That's not, that's below the belt. That get off of you. <laughs> <laughs> even my kids call her that when she comes in. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've told her there's no need to be nervous. <laughs> She's got a lovely cashmere on this evening. She's got her golden locks on this evening. She's very nervous. She doesn't even want to look at you. Look, say hi. Hi. Say hi to, <laughs> go, say hi to the camera. Hi. Bit of camera confidence. Come on. <clears throat> look at everybody like your mean business. Yeah, John. Somebody said hit him with your stick. No. <laughs> no, you would not hit John with your stick. <laughs> yes, so would. So, John, mm -hmm. have you been drawn into anybody's names when you've been sitting over there? No, because I haven't been. I've you haven't been paying attention. Been you should have helped popped in Marshall. Do you want me to pick somebody for you? Eh? Yeah. Right, get your comments in. I'm going to pick the person. Um, Jan is going to go. Let's go to this person, Helen McIntyre. Helen McIntyre is saying, anybody in spirit for me, please, and a kiss. So you could either connect in the spirit you could do a tea leaf and just see what you get and just go for it and do a, a round robin. How about that? You put your leg, she's putting her leg out. She's right, getting we'll herself comfy. She's wetting her cup. She's going to go tea leaf. Um, Helen McIntyre. Um, obviously, with a tea leaf, anything could come through. All right. So, although she's looking in that cup, Spirit could show themselves in that cup. Spirit could come in and speak to Jan. <laughs> she's here doing it. Okay. So let's see what is going to happen. Oh, that's a good clunky cup. A good clunky cup. No, I have not pinned a post. Oh, I have pinned a post. I don't know how I pinned that. But somebody's unpinned it. Thank you. <laughs> so... Jan, I will just, how do I get this to unpin? There we go. Thank you. I'm not very good with this, folks, pinning and unpinning posts, um, but there you go. Right, Jan is looking in our cup now, so she's just connecting into your Helen uh, McIntyre, who's just put, yeah, um, and that, so... 
I will pass over to Jan. Remember, they're just learning, folks, so be nice. Okay, be nice to the developers. All right. <laughs> just developing, Jan. <laughs> Jan's just looking in at the cup. <coughs> She's now shaking the cup again, just so you could all hear what's going on. I'm seeing a face here. I feel it's a, a female face. Quite, quite thick, oh. thick hair. Thick head of hair on the top and comes down the sides. Okay. I feel this person is very pale. I feel this was towards the end that they were pale. I feel a certain amount of sadness for this person. So this is somebody in spirit, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The letter S, I feel, is significant for someone around about. I feel this person would have problems in the head area. I've got a fine headache. I don't know if it's my nerve or not, but <clears throat> and I also feel that there's um a dog coming forward. Dog as well, Helen, just in case you never heard. Because she's speaking to the cup. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> I'm not used to this camera shy. I feel if it's not yourself, there's someone around about you needing a bit of comfort just now. But I also feel that there was a dog in the spirit world. This has got a white face and black bits on it. Good. Try it upside down. I tell you what, I'm drawn to something really funny in your cup, but I'm going to tell you when I'm finished. I feel the number nine would be significant as well. And also the months of January and December. <coughs> and I also feel that five o'clock would be significant time. I also get the feeling that there's someone drowning at the moment with something. Can't seem to to get a solution. I feel there's a lot of sorrow as well. Good. Anything else? No. Well done. Not really. Oh. Oh.
There's a, another dog. Two dogs. Two dogs. Yeah. Hey, this has got this one's got a wee patch on its side. And there's a young cat here as well. Good. Okay. That's it. Well done. Well done. Well done. There is inside your cup. Just so you could have a, a wee noisy. Seen somebody asking if they could see inside the cups. Look just down here. This bit here. There's a tower. A tower in there is well, so you're starting to climb. You're starting to climb up. Okay, you're taking those steps. You're coming to the top. I stand because when I seen it, when John was looking, it looked like a willy. <laughs> oh, it does. See? And then when I seen it the right way up, I was like, no, it's a tower. She started to climb her way up. Um, so there we go. There we go. Right, that is then when their first round, folks. They are going to do a second round. Now, their second round, they're not using a tea leaf cup. All oh, right, they didn't know that. But they're not using a tea leaf cup on their second round. They are coming in hands-free. They are going to give you either a spirit message, um, so they'll con communicate with the spirit world, or they're going to just give an answer to your question. So if you've got a question like, will I find love? Will things get better? Will I get out of this dark hole? Whatever it may be, they are going to look at an answer. Folks, I'm two seconds. I'm just what trying to move this. Erin's being cheeky. Let me just move this out of the way so that we don't get sticky, um, because that would just be silly. So keep on hitting your share button, folks. This is the interesting part now. Now it's hands-free reading. The tea leaves are away. Jan's face has just turned a funny shade of green. <laughs> All right. Our wee Janny's face has turned a funny shade of green. I think they did really, really well, to be honest. I really do. So let's have a big mass of share, folks. Share everywhere. Share, share, share. All right. Because we're getting busy now. All right. We're getting more viewers coming in. Um, we do need to get your comments shown on the screen. How do you get your comments on the screen? Share and interact. So your wee love hearts, your thumbs, your smiley faces, all those things get your comments on the screen. And so does hitting the share. Because then Facebook thinks, oh, this is really good. Let's make sure this person comment gets shown on the screen. So that's what you need to do, all right, to get your comment on the screen, share. Share in groups, share on your page, share wherever you blink and like. All right, phone your pals, say get on. John's weird people that are just developing, and I don't mean developing like they're growing boobs and they're starting their, you know, puberty, nothing like that. They're now starting their journey to be a medium. Yes, and it's bloody great fun. So they are now going to be sitting studying. They are going to be looking for questions popping on the screen. They're going to see who they're drawn into. They're going to come up here and then they're just going to give you a reading. All right. So even commenting now, they might be getting drawn into you. Okay. They are watching the commentos. All right. So I'm going to do a wee spirit message before I hand over to them. Um, so let me just have a wee look. At, oh, God, I've got an itchy nose. It's because the spirit door's open, folks. I'm going to do a wee message now before we bring, um, let them start coming forward. So Nicola Wedlock, Nicola Wedlock, I'm going to come to yourself, sweetheart. As soon as I looked there, I was aware of a lady coming in from the spirit side, sweetheart. I do feel this is mum vibration, okay? I feel very close with your mum. She's coming in here. She's about five, 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 six in height as she's coming forward here. She's a nice friend lady. I feel very much what you see is what you get. She's not holding her tongue. She's not putting on airs and graces. She is very much, this is me, deal with it. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of your mum, okay? I feel if she was going to lose it, she would lose it. I feel a very quick sudden passing with her because she's snapping her fingers. She was here one minute, she's in the spirit world the next minute. She's got lovely brown eyes as she's coming in here as well, okay? Now, as much as I feel this quick, quick passing, I do feel there was an illness with your mum as well before she was taken over to the spirit world. I feel I'm needing to give you the month of April, so April must mean something to your mum. It's either her birthday or passing or something special happened to her, but that April month must mean something to her. I'm also wanting to connect with four, so four would mean something that's either 
there are four of you. Are four connected with your mum? But four would mean something in some way, shape, or form here. Do you know? I feel your mum's coming in at this minute in time, sweetheart, and she's just giving you, she's giving you that wee nudge, okay? And it's like, yes, you should. I feel you need to treat yourself, sweetheart. Perfect time that's coming up for Christmas. Boom, boom. But I feel you're needing to treat yourself at this minute in time, okay? You're needing that wee push. You're needing that wee, you could do it. You could do things for yourself. You don't have to be worrying about everybody else all the time, okay? I do feel that I'm wanting to come in within your home, and I feel want to decorate a wee bit. So I'm feeling there's work needing done within the house here as well. And I feel your mum's pushing that. Do you know something? Your mum's very, very proud of you at this minute in time, okay? She's got this lovely smile on her face, and she really would have been somebody that would have just gleaned from ear to to ear is just coming in here, all right? A lot, a lot of love stepping in for you. You do need to watch yourself over the next two to three days. I just feel your mum's going to be stepping into your vibration, sweetheart. Watch for your mum's scent, okay? She's making me very much aware of her scent coming in here, so pay attention for that. Lots of love. Take care for now. Um, where is that? Gone, where is that gone? Oh, Nicola Wedlock, OMG. You're very, very welcome. I take it OMG's good. <laughs> right, I just seen a comment from somebody as I looked at my screen there. Um, where is that? Where is it? Where is that? Where is it? Lisa Fask Faskelin? Lisa Fask, I think you I think it's Faskelin. Oh, I could hear myself. Lisa Faskelin, hi, John. Uh, do you know if it's a boy or a girl? These are my favourite kind of readings, okay? Straight away, as I'm connecting into your vibrations, we have, I see a lovely blue colour in and around you here, so I feel baby boy coming forward for you. But you'd also have a baby boy in the spirit world as well, okay? Because I'm aware of a baby in the spirit. Where I get children coming in from the spirit, it's always to go into your home just to lift that vibration at this moment in time. They're bringing that cheer in and around you at this moment, okay? Take the love, and I'll see so thank you very much. Chris Tyne, has the decisions been made yet? Has the decisions been made yet? Chris, let's have a wee look for you. Chris, you know, I don't feel there's been a decision put in place just yet, okay? I feel you're, it's almost there. I can see it sitting there and it just has to come in. I want to say watch out near the end of the week. This is where I'm feeling the stamp coming in. The end of the week's where it's coming forward for you, okay? Take the love and I'll say thank you very, very much. Uh, Nat uh, Natalie Faulkner, after this one, I'm panting over to the development class folks natalie faulkner will there baby will them will baby next for me here can't even fucking read what i'm all about um natalie faulkner will there be a baby a baby next year for me um no for me for you natalie i don't want any more children i've got enough with the two i've got but as i'm looking into here natalie for you um, I feel there will actually be a baby for you next year. Do you know something? I didn't actually feel I'm wanting to say to you um, there is a delivery of a baby next year, but I feel the pregnancy news comes forward to you next year year okay it feels more like the middle of next year which means if you're pregnant it would be the following year once the baby come and um, do feel that coming in sweetheart also as i'm connecting into your vibration here i need to go into your partner and i'm just <laughs> wanting to say he must be really down at this minute in time because i'm feeling his energy coming up there is news coming in and around you there's a smile there's a reason to be happy coming in and around you at this moment in time okay take the love and i'll say thank you very much take care for now um do -do 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 Right, I'm going to hand over. I'm handing over. Honestly, I could sit doing that all night, folks, and I could just bring in the spirit readings and bang, bang, bang and chat away to you for hours. But it's not all about Mr. Spratt tonight. I know. What the fuck's all that about? It's not about me. Crap. Um, it's all about the people who are learning. All right. So we're going to bring Aaron back. Um, come on in, Aaron. Aaron's going to come back. This is not a bad angle, is it? The, have you got a good angle? Yeah, your side. You've got, the, you've got the better side. Tell me, shut the fuck up. Um, right, Aaron. Um, Aaron's going to be doing some hands-free mm -hmm. readings. Um, have some. You, some. More than one. Well, maybe. Maybe day two. I'm the, I'm the teacher. Okay. I've got the teaching hat on. Yes, That sir. looks like a cock on my head at this moment in time. Look. I'm not even saying anything to that. Aaron. Were you drawn to anybody? I was a Kirsty Bowman, but I haven't seen a post in a wee while. Kirsty Bowman. Yeah, I seen a post from Kirsty Bowman um, just a few minutes ago, actually. Do, 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 do. But anyway, let's just let's give her the message. Hopefully, she'll watch that. Kirsty, if you're there, pop a comment up. So, what have you got for her? Yeah. What was her question? Did she have one? She had multiple questions. Multiple but, questions. Yeah, 
casting. They were mostly like asking like oh. for reassurance about whether she was like on the right path and things like that. Let's give Kirsty a message then. Okay, okay. Kirsty is this button right here. See that? That's the camera. That's Kirsty. You go for it. Okay. I'm gonna sit back. Can we move positions? Oh, really? I've got my trackies on. He's moving. People will see, they think I'm oh, respectable. Right. That's better. I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, uh, this side. When I was tuning into like your vibration, like I, I felt like a warm kind of like loving lead came <coughs> forward, and uh, he's a choke on his coke. And uh, as she came forward, I feel like this lady was a grandmother lady, and I feel like she was around about like five foot four ish, um, and I feel like she was um, a little bit stocky. But as she came in, I feel like that she felt almost like a relief, and um, like that she was kind of like free. Cause I feel like that. Towards the end of um, like her condition, I feel like that she just had enough, and it was almost like she kind of like wanted to to give up, um, and she wanted to get rid of all her pain. She's taking me down to her stomach area, so I feel like that she had problems around this area that she was making me aware of, um, and her breathing was rattling as well, and um, because I was feeling that too. But as she was coming in, I was almost like that she wanted to give you like a lot of her telling off, like almost like a little lecture. She's make me aware that like you don't believe in yourself and you need to try and have a little bit more confidence in your past and your abilities and um, she's also as well making me aware that where you are right now with like a work situation or education thing you want to move past and um, but you're like confused between two roads and, uh, she wants to talk as well about someone that's doing like a caring profession at the moment because she's saying to me that whoever it is um, around them like she wants to say um, that that's really good and she wants to encourage that and um, she's also as well she's repeating to me July July so can you understand that for a birthday past an anniversary and there must be more than one in, in July because she's repeated it more than once and um, it's a popular name as well but she's, she's saying Elizabeth so I'm not saying it's her name but it's connected in around her because she's wanting to speak about Elizabeth and um, also as well when she comes in she's making me aware as well around yourself and um, she said to me that uh, that in the past, like you've had problems with, um, let's say, of like male company, and she's saying that you need to to just um, be a little bit more forceful and um, just quit in ties with um, people that like give you bad bad negativity and stuff, and focus on like your life and your direction and your path. Um, as well, like the way she brought in two children as well, two babies, so there must be two babies that passed the spirit world by like miscarriage or stillbirth and that she wants to say that they're all right they're with me and she says as well that she's with her husband and um, so your grandfather um, and uh, he must have done some kind of service military thing because he's wanted me to get set up straight but he's just like standing at the back of her and just saying and um, he's got a big smile on his face and he's got a thumbs up and he's saying and um, you're a good lass and just to keep continuing what you're doing um, but to believe in yourself and what you want to do and stop putting yourself down about like all different aspects about yourself. You need to try and like pretend you've got confidence even if you've not. Um, you're saying to me that you just need to go and do it because um, you've got a lot of brains up there but you're just not putting it to good use. So that's just about it that I'm good. at the moment. Well that's done Aaron. Moment. Cheers. See you later. There you go, Jeanette. That was for you, sweetheart, from Aaron, who is as well. Who would know? Kirsty. Jeanette. Don't even know where Jeanette came from. Never mind. Anywho, it was there, and I've gave you that name. So take it. Um, so next up, um, just whilst we're waiting on the next one to come up, I shall just have a wee look, and I'll do a couple of wee messages. The next person I've come up will be Erin. Um, so we'll just let Erin make her way here, and as she's making her way here, I'll do a message. Keep your share going, folks. Keep your share going. Do not lose it. Keep it coming um, because we need it. Um, Jean Mackerel, will my partner's health get any better, please? Jean, straight away as I'm connecting into your vibration, sweetheart, I feel where your partner at this minute in time, 
do you know, I feel just drained with them at this minute. I feel flat. I feel very down. I feel there's no movement in the mood. Nothing at this minute. I do feel there's improvements coming in. I want to go into the February month. This is where I feel it's stepping forward. This is improvements coming in. Things stepping up. A better vibration. So change of medication needed as well in around your partner at this time. But sweetheart, connecting into you, I feel you're quite down at this minute in time. It's probably because you're looking after your partner a bit. Okay. Um, but I'm really feeling you're down. I'm wanting to give you that boost of energy and give you that confidence to push forward all right take the love and i'll say thank you very much take care for now right let's get up here my gorgeous wife all right my gorgeous wifey i'm um, gonna do the next message completely hands-free completely at random to someone smile go cock-eyed boom you saw that i'm so fucking joking um, didn't okay. seriously hate to go cock-eyed <laughs> you take the specs off, you can do it, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, cheek of the week. So, folks, before Erin gets started, let's all hit the share button. Keep your love hearts and everything going up and down that screen as well. Share the love. They're all just trainees. All right? They're just, wee, they're just developing. She's just starting to grow. All right? <laughs> so, Erin, were you drawn to anybody? Yeah, but I don't know if they'll still be watching because I've seen their name absolutely ages ago and then hey. I got a man and it was just after I got him I got the name again. Right. But Sam Wheeler. Now, Sam Wheeler, I am sure, is still here because I've seen comments whilst Aaron was talking from a Sam. So I think Sam Wheeler is, I'm sure she's still here. I would try and go through the comments and find yeah, for you, yeah. but you will never ever find it. Sam, we as I say, folks, you need to stay on. Once you're on, stay on because they're just get, getting drawn as they're watching on the screen. All right, so stay where you are. Sam, Erin has a message for you. Well, I, I was kind of, uh, I was picking up on a man, and I feel he would sort of be dad, if not a granddad. Um, and he, he seems. Um, He's got quite a lot of hair, and it's white hair, so I feel he would have been a bit older when he passed. But he's still got quite a lot of his hair, um, and I feel he would have wore um, a hat quite a lot as well. And I feel, I feel he's like sort of a, just a ever so slightly larger man. I don't feel he's terribly big, but he, do, he does have a bit of meat on his bones. Um, I feel that he was um, a really, really sort of kind and caring gentleman and um, he had a lot of sort of compassion in him and he, he just seems like he's really, really gentle and loving and I feel he had a lot of time for his family and if you had problems or anybody had problems, he had a lot of time to sit and speak to you. and. I can see, um, I'm not sure if it's yourself, but I can see somebody going for walks with this gentleman, so I don't know if it was something that was done maybe to sort of calm people down when they were like worrying or had any problems, but I see this gentleman out walking with people. Um, he's got a um, sort of golden colour dog with him as well. I don't know if it's a retriever or a lab, but it's just a golden colour dog. Um, would I feel towards the end he would have had problems speaking as well. Um, I feel like he needed quite a lot of care as well. Um, like he needed help with eating and things, um, and there wasn't much he could do by himself. And he's just saying that he's really, really grateful for all that help he got. Um, and it was just good for people caring about him just as much as he's been caring about everybody else. I feel, and I don't know if it's you that's done this, um, but I feel there's a drawing of this man. Um, and I'm not sure if you drew it, or, but I feel that somebody's got this drawing of this gentleman. Um, Sam is watching, by the way, and she's put a comment saying, yeah, he does have a golden dog with him. <sighs> I 
I feel that when this man passed as well, it's not just people close to him, but I feel like he would have left a hole in a lot of people's hearts. Like he was a well-loved man, not just by his family, but sort of by neighbours and by the community as well. Um, and he's, I do feel he's terribly missed by like a lot of people. Um, but he's, he's just wanting to say he's there and he's always around you. And I feel like you should know as well that he's always around you. Um, but he's just, he's just saying the way the way he loved everybody then, he still loves you all that way now. That's kind of... Well done! Big up for Erin! Sam, Sam, Sam. I'm glad you were still here, Sam. Um, and I did see one of your comments saying you were able to understand that and you were able to take the dog as well. So great. I'm going to tell you, so Jan's sitting across from me and she's going, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. She is absolutely fizzballing. She is fizzballing like a bottle of grapes. All right. Um, right. Okay. Let's have a wee look. Uh, so okay, next. I you what, sorry? Her daughter did a drawing of him. Her daughter did a drawing of him. Ah, there you go. Remember, folks, leave a wee visitor's post, everybody that's getting messages from the trainees, all right, because they could then go back and have a look um, and see how they got on doing your message, and that's how they learn. That's how they develop, all right? It's a shame all my class is not here tonight, but at least we've got these ones. We've got this four, which is just as good. Um, <laughs> My mum says I've got to, who who have I got to give a wave to? Your mum. Uh, mum. <laughs> Hi mum, love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Crazy woman. Right. Uh, <laughs> so next up we have got the lovely Ashley, who's just had a baby. Yes, she's fresh faced. She's ready to go. She's not had any sleep. Her baby's got colic. <laughs> Right, well, well, see how you're feeling when you've not slept in two years. <laughs> see how you're feeling in a couple of years' time. Tell Ashley the night she should have another one. Might Beautiful. as well even it up. You can't have a, just a one baby. That's just not right. You got to have two. One's enough for now. You need even numbers, Ashley. Even numbers. One is an odd. We'll see. We'll see. Murray, if you watch it, oh no, he should be in his bed. It's half past nine. Yeah. Murray. <laughs> Our, our partner's been left on his own and he was in a panic how he was going to cook his tea tonight. We're having a baby. Anywho, Ashley. You panic about how you're going to cook your tea even if you've what? not got a baby. <laughs> oh, see, my your wife's here is pain in the ass, is it? So, let's have a wee look, Ashley. Is there anybody you have been drawn to? There was Gillian Griffiths, I think her name was. Gillian Griffiths? Yeah, I think I've seen... She's a while ago she posted. Um, no problem. Over to Ashley. I felt there was a lady coming in for you. Um, I feel this is on a grandmother sort of link. Um, and I feel you feel her around you quite a lot. Um, and she's basically telling you to believe in yourself because I feel like you're kind of looking at yourself and going, I'm, you know, I'm not being the person I should be. You were there was a question about a relationship, if I remember rightly, and um, you posted quite a while back. Um, and the fact that you're doubting yourself. Um, that's maybe you should be asking yourself if it, if it is the right relationship but I feel like you do need to give it time and um, I feel that you're you you never sort of give things a chance um and just take a step back a little bit and I feel you know things will move quite swiftly for you and um, the lady that I'm feeling um around Jellica says you're like a grandmother link um and I do feel you had quite a close bond with her but you didn't really have that much time together um so I feel you, you you reflect back on this quite a lot. You know, you wish you did have the time. And I do feel that you sort of look for her quite often and you do sort of feel her around you, but you need to let the signs show. Um, I want to say you spent quite a lot of time with her when, when she was around. Um, and I do feel you were there when she passed as well. Um, and I feel it was quite sudden because I feel like one minute she was there and the next thing she was gone and, you know, you didn't really know what to do with yourself. Um, but take the love, you know, from from her that you know she is around you. And if you know you stop doubting yourself, is basically what she's saying to me. And and she's basically sort of saying, give yourself a kick up the rear end because that's the kind of thing she would have done, you know, when she was here. And I feel that that's her personality. And I feel 
you're sort of taking her personality as well. You're quite a bubbly character. Um, you just need to get out there more, I suppose. Um, and I'll leave the love of your grandmother with you. Well done! There you go, love. There you go. Um, hope that all made sense to you. Ooh, Ashley, super nervous, but I think she did. I think everybody's doing great up to snow. Absolutely everybody. Um, so let's, we have got Jan next. Jan, who is super gun nervous. All right. Super gun nervous. So don't worry. Don't worry. Jan, you're going to be fine. All right. Jan, have you got somebody picked out? She doesn't know. Jan, come on over to my place. We're having a party, Jen. Come on over to my place. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Rachel Evans, how can I listen to the other readings? You can watch this live back as soon as we're finished. It'll be available on Facebook after about 20 seconds. Um, there is two videos. There's this one and another one that cut off after about 15 minutes, I think. Um, so there is two videos. So you people be able to watch the two of them. All right. So, folks, keep those love hearts coming. Send in that lovely positive energy to Jan. All your love, your thumbs and your smiley faces. Just see them all going up the screen for you, Jan. Look, we love hats and pointers and smiley face. Cute. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. So cute. <laughs> She's going to hit me. Um, so absolutely fantastic, oh. folks. It's so good that you've all been joining in. Um, now, oh, oh. I looked at that one Jenna, Jenny Mason. You want to go to Jenny Mason? You could go to Jenny Mason. Yeah. Jenny Mason, Jan's going to connect into your vibration. Um, Jan just needs a couple of seconds. She's just going to connect in there um, and see who comes in. Yes, you're just asking, you would just love a message, please. So there you go, Jan. You've got a free room here. You could pass on anything um, to our... our who was that again? Jenny. Jenny Mason. Right. Have you got vodka in that Coke, John? Oh, I wish I had. I wish I had. Yeah, I can't even that, no. Yeah, vodka. We didn't mix with spirits in this house. <laughs> We're just using the, the ethereal spirits this evening. The what? The ethereal. 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 That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> um, the ethereal, just the ethereal spirits this evening. Sometimes I just don't know. Sometimes I just don't know the words, Jan, so I just make them up. Yeah, yeah. I've made up some great words. Yeah, you have, you have. You got anything yet? I'm just too, too nervous for all this. Just, you need to push the nerves to the side mm. and just focus. You're just speaking at a computer. Just, I know it's a, a 40 million. Yeah, just just the end of it. So, do you want to speak to the cup? Speak to my tea leaves. <laughs> there you go. Just pretend you're getting Jenny a reading who's sitting there and <laughs> the tea leaves. I feel, I feel that you're stuck in the middle with something at the minute. <clears throat> and I feel that it's, there's an emotional pull with this. I feel this has been going on for a little while. And I feel that you're quite stressed with it. But I feel that things have to be left to work their own course. I feel there's a, a young girl. Thank you. 
And I want to give you the number 16 as being significant. Also the month of January. I also feel that there's someone round about you having problems with their ears. And I feel that there's a change in medication for someone. <clears throat> I feel that there's um, a new path that you're going to be taking. I think there's one of three things, one of three ways that that you can go. So in other words, you have a choice of which way you want to go. But having said that, I feel that you have to have informed choices. So in other words, don't just jump in head first. Research. And I'm not sure if it's you or someone about you, but I'm aware of knocking in the house. I feel you would understand a flat two up to the left has been significant. Now, I'm not sure if this is my headache or someone else's oh, headache. I've got a thumping head on the top. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's yourself or someone around about you having that condition oh, just no. now. I want to give you number four as being significant as well. And I also feel that there's a child in spirit. And I feel that there was one didn't touch the earth either. They're fine in the spirit world. And I want to give you the letter T has been significant as well. And I feel that you know where you want to go, but it's just a case of sitting down and moving forward with it. Okay, I'll just put it with you. Well done, John. Well done. Loads of nights nice coming up for you as you were doing that as well, saying you're doing brilliant, conquering those fears. She's running to the toilet for a wee wee because she's going to pee her pants. The girl said, thank you. Um, the girl who, what was her name again? I can't remember, but I remember seeing Erin's seen the comment coming up, so thank you again. Please leave a visitor's post so Jan could uh, see that later on as well. And you know, even if it's something that was wrong that was in it, let them know because that's how they need to learn. They need to know Jenny, when they're feeling Jenny. Jenny, yeah. They need to know that when they're feeling these things, what they mean. So if it's something they've never had before, they're just having a go with what they're saying. Um, and if you say yes and it's raw, then that's no good. That's no good. They then take that note and say, right, well, it's the first time I've had that, so now I'll know when I get that next time what it means. Um, so, well, blinking done. Right, we are going to be almost finishing, but I'm going to do a couple of messages as I'm going here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it out to the room and I'm going to see if anybody's got anything that they want to come in and quickly fire out to somebody. All right, so keep those questions coming in. Everybody will come up, they'll, give, so, uh, they'll get 30 seconds to give a wee reading to somebody. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
as I say, folks, they're only developing. So well done. Thank you for being here um, and helping them. And hopefully maybe they'll do it again. Maybe maybe next week or in a couple of weeks, they'll do it again. They're definitely going to do it before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, we might even do it with a Ouija board out as well. And we'll get some spooky stuff going on. And we'll do readings, Ouija board sessions. We'll get messages coming through on there, getting it spelled out for you as well. Plus, they'll be connecting in. We'll get Erin drawing pictures, because Erin's great at her pictures, as he's all blinking. No. Um, see, see the one that I said... Drew a picture. I wanted to draw the picture. Oh, you want... wanted to draw the picture no, as well. Like somebody has drawn them, but I wanted to. You wanted to draw. Uh, see that? <clears throat> How cool! How bloody cool! All right. Um. So let's have a wee look. Let's start getting your your comments coming in again, folks. Get your questions stepping forward. The team. The team. <laughs> the developers. Um, are now just going to come in and give a wee quick 30 second to you on absolutely anything. All right. <laughs> so let's have a wee quick look. I'm going to do a couple. Um, um, I'm looking for a question. <laughs> Lots. Everybody's saying everybody did really, really well. Well done, everybody. Um, da, 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 da. Sarah Craig, Sarah Craig, is the 3rd of December going to be good or bad? Let's have a wee look in, Sarah Craig. Straight away as I'm connecting into it, I actually feel quite positive. Okay, I'm feeling a real positive energy to it. I'm feeling quite an upbeat vibration, so I feel things are going to go all right. You know something that looks as if it's not going right, okay? I could feel your mood just sinking as the day goes on. But then all of a sudden, I'm seeing this almighty change. And it's like, <gasps> shock change coming in here that gives me that positive vibration. So it's feeling quite positive to me as I'm coming in. Okay. Um, let's see what else we've got going on here. Gail Death Deatheridge. Gail Deatheridge. Um, me, please, will my daughter win? Gail, let's have a look. Straight away as I'm pulling in at this vibration, I do feel. Now, this is no winning money. I don't feel you're talking about going to the bingo or anything like this. This feels to me something that's been building up, something that's been going on for a long time. I do feel positive vibration coming in with it as I'm pulled in there. Okay. Um, Tracy Murray, is Gran there with you tonight? I miss her so much. Tracy, let's have a wee quick connect there to the spirit world and let's just see uh, what's going on. Gail, um, straight away, I do feel a lady in the spirit world here, okay? I do feel I've, I'm having trouble with my teeth. I feel it's a top set of teeth. I feel they're false as she comes in here. I'm struggling with her hearing. I feel I'm needing to raise my voice and shout a wee bit louder to her. I'm also feeling a bit forgetful with this lady as well. I'm struggling to put what's right, who's who, what's going on round about me here. I feel a peaceful passing with the lady. I do feel as she's coming in here as well. I'm wanting to be up on my feet. I want to be mobile. I want to be moving. So she was always on the go, always moving around, always doing something. I feel very hands-on with her, okay? Okay, and I feel even work-wise, she was a hands-on worker as she's coming forward here. Very short of breath as she's pulling in, so I know she would have struggled with her breathing. And I feel there's a lot of medication with her as well. Very much in and around, very, very close to you. Take the love, and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Sophie Rogers, will my relationship, is my relationship going to work? Sophie, straight away as I'm pulling into the vibration here, I feel where your partners need to open up a wee bit more. I feel it's like they're in a cave. It's like they've gone silent. They don't know what to do. They do this quite a lot. I feel some weeks it's like, my God, sit down and calm down. And then other weeks it's like kicking them up the backside, get a rock up there, doof, doof, move. And I feel they've got stuff that they're wanting to get out, but they've got their walls up at the minute. I do feel a long-term relationship here. It is going to work. So stick with it and allow them to open up to you rather than you pushing to them. Okay. Take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Right, we're just going to go around the room quickly. I'm going to see if anybody's got anything. And again, folks, we're handing over to the, the trainees. Let's see if they've got anything for you. If they have, it's just 30 seconds. That's it. Aaron, do you have something? You do. Quick. And I'm no freaking moving for you. You can sit right, here. Okay. Who's um, it for? Paula. Uh, uh, no, it's for um, Paula Mitchell. Paula Mitchell. Okay, it's Paula Mitchell. Paula Mitchell. The you. Um, I feel like you're asking a question about, like, should it... Like about you and your kids and um like whether you're in the right position at the moment like i feel almost like a flight or like fear reaction i feel like i want to be somewhere else i feel that i'm not comfortable where i am at the moment and i feel like i want to move away 
and it almost feels well like that you've seen somewhere and that you've thought about moving and I uh, even feel like moving like out of cities and because you want to be away from a different atmosphere and um, I feel like a negative kind of feeling with like a male energy um, at the moment around you that's just making you more anxious and like making your life basically crap. I almost feel like you just need to go with your intuition and do what like you want to do. Forget about like what the rest of the family and that or friends are telling you. Do what's right for you and your kids and uh, just go with that. Also, number 22 is significant for you and March I'm getting as well um, for you. Um, and that's about it. Well done. There we go. Um, we're going to go, Ashley, have you got anything for somebody? No, not yet. Jan? Nope, not yet. Erin? Erin Haas. Bring on the Sprottmeister. Come on, my darling. My hair's a mess. Her hair's a mess, folks. It's full of conditioner. She had a shower. She never knew she was going to be put on camera live. See me. I look, look like yellow vanilla. Look what I've got. The jaundice. Look. Jaundice. Maybe it's that light. Maybe it is. Right, anyway, who have you got? Um, Elaine... Emerson, she's asking um, a new relationship or stay where I am. Okay, Elaine, this is for you. I feel like that just now you think that a new relationship is maybe what you're needing and it's you You feel it would be a good change for you. And I feel like to start with it would be, and I'm not saying that um, there's anything wrong with the person, but I feel like it wouldn't be the right time and it wouldn't be the right person it's like it's it's not a good time for you to be doing this and i feel like you would be two totally completely different people um and i wouldn't say you would clash but you just would want kind of different things and what seemed like a good idea at the start well would slowly start to just it's like you're just drifting apart and you wouldn't <clears throat> spend time with each other and things like that and you would just slowly come to an end okay okay that's perfect if that's what you're getting well well done oh sorry i've just pinned a post as i was trying to unpin a post such a dipstick somebody aaron was saying thank you very much to yourself and i just seen it at the corner of my it eyes was was... that's it there you go well well done right let's push on ashley have you got something yet you got a question you want to tackle yet? No, but I think the message I gave last time was for somebody else because this girl keeps popping up and I think of. Okay, that's fine. Have you got someone else you want to add on to, uh, to this girl whose name's popping it's up? Anne Marie. Anne Marie. But I don't know how to say her surname. Anne Marie, but she doesn't know how to say your surname. Come on over to my place. <laughs> Anne Marie, we can you pronounce your surname? This is it was, for you. It was our nan behind her, um, and she was speaking about a group or something before as well. And I feel that that's something that you need to stick at, and um, because if you don't, I feel like you will sort of take ten steps back rather than going forward. Um, but this, what you call as your nan, um, I feel like she is really, really pushing you forward, and you really need to progress with it, whichever group it is that you go to. Um, I do feel just now you are quite down in the dumps. So um, again, you just need to, you know, think your, your nan's around you all the time because she certainly is. And I think you're noticing things around the house with this lady as well. Um, certain little things, but you're not picking up. Um, you know, you're hearing things in the house. Things have been moved, that sort of thing. But it, it is your nan that is around you. So um, keep going and doing what you're doing, and don't give up. That's it. Good, well done. Have a seat, Erin. You're Elaine Emerson as well. Just put thank you, Erin. Makes sense, hon. Thank you. And we kissy faces. Oh, like that. Just realised you just unpin the comment by just pushing the woman comment. <laughs> what a brat I am. Jan, did you get anybody's little quick fire? Jan's just too bloody nerd. Honestly, she's going to have a fit. Um, she's sitting there like. Mm -hmm. God. Anywho, folks, I do, I do, I do. she needs a smoke, that's what it is. <laughs> need, why am I sitting by a table in my neck? It's thinking of tea. Well, smell like a dirty tea bag. Folks, um, that's it, that's it. We've been here about an hour and a half in total, an hour, on, an hour and five minutes on this video, and whatever we did on the last one. Um, thank you, thank you so much for coming along. And, well, 
been guinea pigs for these folks, really. Um, thank you very much for doing that. Hopefully, we could do it again before Christmas. I'll be back live before then, but hopefully I could get maybe even my full development circle. So maybe everybody will be here. Um, and I tell you, we've got one who's Australian and she's mad about her heart. Her, um, so we'll have a right good giggle with her. Our readings might not come out, but we'll have a bit of a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> or Mandy. Um, so folks, thank you so much. Please do remember, leave a wee visitor's post on the page. Even if you never got a reading and you just want to leave a post to say well done to these guys, all right, Aaron, Ashley, John and Erin, um, feel free to do that, all right, because it just builds up their confidence a wee bit. And as you can see, some of them are a bit nervouser, some more than others, like our little Johnny Fanny. Um, but it was great, it was great, it was great, great, great. Um, please don't be disheartened if you didn't get a reading. There was quite a lot of people here. All right. Um, but please do keep on following, keep liking the page, folks. I'll be back live at some point. I'll also be on my instant messaging platform very, very soon. Um, doing all your IM chat readings for you. So get your wee credits bought, get your text messages in. In fact, you know what? See where this lot's eating the sandwiches after their wee class, which ends in five minutes. I'm going to make them do some text readings. So get your text messages in for them, all right? All the details are on the website, johnspratt.co.uk, or visit my app, my free mobile app, folks, which is absolutely the schniz, all right? It's been updated. And if you've not updated it, get it updated. It is the schnizzle. You could go to your wee daily game there. Every single day, you get a chance to scratch a card. Scratch a card, oh, you go for a second. Um, you get to scratch your card. Look at this, this is great. Scratch a card. Every single, ah, oh, well I never won, and I freaking created it. That's despicable, folks. But you could do that every day where you could win. You can, what else can you do? Let's go back here. Horoscopes, you get all your horoscopes on here, folks, and I'm gonna tell you something right now. They're quite good freaking horoscopes, I might add. You can get your daily horoscope. You can get your weekly horoscope. You can get your monthly horoscope. And if you're a nosy bugger like me, you can dive into just love, just your work life, or an overview of everything. There's loads there, folks, including, of course, your readings, which you could go and have a reading with the team. Very, very simple to use. If you want to do an IM chat reading, you just click on IM chat and it will literally take you to start an IM chat reading, where once you're there, folks, you can chat to me. Chat, how cool is that? Yes, get in there, get in. Um, and there was something else. If you're using like the text service and you're using it through the app phone, it actually works on the website as well. It's really cool. You don't even have to do anything. You literally just touch the number for your area and it does it. It puts the number in and it even writes Sprat in the box. All you got to do then is put your bloody question. Simple. Works the same with the phone readings. When you go into the phone section, you just tap the blooming number and it'll phone for you. Yeah, tap in there and it'll dial the number. Look at that. Call. Boom. Speak to mister. There we go. So, folks, it's been great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from me and from all these guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you on the instant chat and the texting. Bye-bye. Oh, I can't get it to go off.